While the president was here in Las Vegas today, he was also asked about something else, about a report that his Secretary of State Rex Tillerson called the president a moron after a national security meeting. The president's response today and the Secretary of State Rex Tillerson himself coming before the cameras today. Here's ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz tonight. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson today making a rare impromptu appearance. There were some news reports this morning that I want to address. A report rocketing around Washington. NBC News reporting Tillerson had called Trump a moron last July after a national security team meeting and was then on the verge of resigning. The vice president has never had to persuade me to remain as secretary of state because I have never considered leaving this post. And that report of calling the president a moron? Could you address the, the main headline of this story that you called the president a moron? And if not, where do you think these reports are? I'm, just, I'm not going to deal with petty stuff like that. I'm just not going to be part of this effort to divide this administration. Not a flat out denial, but his spokesperson later more definitive. He did not say that. The full court press pleasing the president. Yeah, I'm very honored by his comments. It was fake news. It was a totally phony story. Thank you very much. It was made up. It was made up by NBC. They just yeah. made it up. Yeah, Thank you all. Thank you. Total confidence in Rex. But Trump and Tillerson have appeared at odds with one another recently. Just last weekend, after Tillerson said dialogue with North Korea was possible, Trump tweeting, I told Rex Tillerson, our wonderful Secretary of State, that he is wasting his time trying to negotiate with Little Rocket Man. Save your energy, Rex. We'll do what has to be done. And so, Martha, a very public statement of loyalty from Rex Tillerson, but a leading Republican senator did say today that Tillerson hasn't always had the backing he deserves. Uh, that's exactly right, David. Republican Senator Bob Corker, chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, said Tillerson isn't getting the support he needs from the administration, adding that Tillerson, Secretary Mattis, and John Kelly are the people who, quote, help separate our country from chaos. David. Martha Raddatz with us tonight. Thank you, Martha.